Hey everyone, this is Gary the Google Guy and today I'm going to show you and talk to you a little bit more about Duet AI in Google Workspace and today we are going to play a little bit within Google Sheets. I'm also going to include in the description down below this video 10 prompts that you can use to get started with this thing today and now if you have Duet as part of your workspace licensure. Now do keep in mind this is not a free add-on. It is one of those things that has to be paid for probably through your work account or an enterprise license. So you're not going to see this in your free Gmail accounts. Now, what is it? Where is it? If we look in Google Sheets, we will see to the right side a window pane that says, help me organize. And this pops out by default if you have Duet enabled. And we can get started here. Now, this is going to be generative AI, meaning that this is going to generate content for us with prompts that we add in here. And I'm going to just copy a number of different prompts in here so you can see how it works. And then I'm going to show you one where we're going to do just a basic prompt. And then we're going to give a little bit more of an elaboration and customize that prompt. All right. So let's get started here. So I'm just going to go grab a prompt. And we're going to go to our window on the right side. I'm just going to paste it. We're going to do an employee performance review tracker and create. And you'll see it's kicked out a generic basic format of all of the information that we would probably need in this performance review tracker. And then from here, you can customize it as you want, customize it as you want. You can add your different chips to it if you need to and tweak things and whatnot. So the next one I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and we are going to paste another one in here just to speed the process along. And now we're going to do an employee onboarding checklist. And you'll see it's kicked out a new one here where now we have task, status, priority, due date, assignee, started, and notes column. So let's do another one. I'm going to do now an employee exit checklist. And you can see here if you, if you create a bank of different prompts that you want to use, you can save those maybe in a keep note, copy, paste, and rock on from there and tweak whatever you need to tweak. And you can also do multiple types of templates within a single one if this is what you want to do. So we have our employee exit checklist. So now let's kind of piggyback on what we've done. We did this employee exit checklist, fairly generic, task, due date, status, assigned to, and notes. Now what I want to do is I'm going to elaborate on that. So let's take that same prompt and we're going to kick it up a notch. So now I'm going to do that same employee exit checklist, except now I'm going to add a column titled, titled as DEP containing the options HR marketing accounting. So we're going to make a custom drop down for this. So let's see what this does. And now you can see we have our custom column in column E there. So if we just expand that out a little bit and we'd have to insert. So let's insert that. So let's just expand this out so you can now see what we've added. And there is our custom dropdown that we can use for HR, IT, and whatever else we want to add. So you can see how we can really kind of tweak what we're wanting to do with this tool, really streamline the creation of stuff. Coming soon is going to be able to have the ability to select data and have it analyze that. But I wanted you to get started with Duet and Sheets with these prompts. So once again, look down below. I'm going to put about 10 different prompts down there for you to get started across all different job roles. So with that, until we meet again, another day, another time, another tip, trick, hack, or update, or in this case, a duet how-to, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.